Marriage doesn't make you better. Automatically. Marriage will reveal and amplify what and who you are at the time you married. There is no special grace in marriage that once two people join together and sign the married dot, the marriage certificate that day, and leave the church, they suddenly change. Amen. Marriage doesn't do that. Is that okay? But marriage will reveal who you are and what you are and amplify it at the point you marry. So if you are a stingy man, at the point of marriage, it will amplify your stinginess. If you are a dirty woman, marriage will amplify that dirtiness. It won't just convert ability to clean the house on you or do different things. Is that okay? Praise God. There is a need to work at making your marriage what it is supposed to be. It is the fruit that your children will eat from and everybody that knows you will eat from. And if the fruit is sour, people will, because of you, say they don't want to marry. If the fruit is beautiful and sweet, people want to marry because of you. Praise God. So, this message is going back to the root of marriage. I have listened to married counselors down through the years and preachers of marriage talk and preach and teach from different settings. Born again, not born again, Christianity, Islamic, traditional, and things like that. Motivational speakers, everybody has something to say about marriage. But I found out that nobody has anything to say that is better than what God has said. Because God is the author of marriage, and you can improve on what the author has said concerning marriage. So I build my teachings on marriage on what God has said. I found that if you go to what God has said and apply it, you will have the result that God said you're going to have. Praise God. But it's possible for us to be applying the principles of God from the wrong end, which is what most times we try to do. So what I'm teaching now is better men and better women. And I want you in your mind to go back in history and check yourself. Where you didn't measure up to this, you have to come up to that level. Marriage was designed for a particular kind of man when God put Adam on the earth. The first day that God put Adam on the earth, when you look at him, that day that God formed the dust of the earth and lifted that body up to his, nose, to his own mouth and breathed into his nose. If you had a camera or you took the picture, Adam will look like God or look like Jesus exactly. And I'm convinced that the age of Adam at that time that he was made will be 30. The same age that Jesus entered his own ministry. Because the Bible called Adam the first Adam, Jesus the last Adam. He came to show us what, what Adam was to have lived like and how he was supposed to have lived if he didn't fall. Praise God. So that tells you that Adam was made fully adult in the spirit, in the mind, and in the body. He wasn't a baby. Marriage was not ordained for boys. It was not ordained for children. It was ordained for a man that is mature enough to communicate with God. And also, before God brought Eve into the picture, Adam had been tested by God. He brought all the animals that he created and asked him, what do you want to call this? And he gave him a name, and that name was the name given. And the name fitted the characteristic, the nature of the animal and everything and all that. That shows the capacity of this man. He wasn't just a moron. He was a man's man that had not fallen. And then he gave him a job put him in a garden to keep that garden and dress it and 
he had given him a mandate a vision a mission on the earth if we never deviated from that original picture many of the things that are coming up in the world today will never have come up but because adam fell a man went away from that original picture and going away from that original picture without god we started devising developing and bringing up our own ideas about marriage about life and different things and all kind of things like that to the point that now you find when a woman comes up and marries a man that doesn't know what he's doing she has to walk up things for herself and um, solve problems herself and we have found women that have been very capable wonderful women and then they give back to another kind of thought is it actually that God meant that men should be the head or not? So questions and all kind of things come up and all that. But when we get born again, God is seeking to bring us back to his original program, to his original instructions. So if you're going to make it, you have to go back to that original picture. It wasn't two sinners that God planned marriage for. It wasn't two people that the devil had taken over in their lives that God planned marriage for. It was two people that were submitted to God exactly like God that God planned marriage for. The man was the first one on the scene. He received instructions, he received directions from God. And then God said, it is not good for this man to be alone. I'm going to give a help suitable for him. And he brought the woman out. And the creation of the woman was significantly different from the man. The man was from, from the dust of the earth, but he brought the woman from the ribs of the man. So there will always be an emotional issue between a man and a woman. Whether you like it or not. And you must be sure that the woman that you are having an emotional issue for and with is the right woman. There's not going to be a time in the life of a male that there is not going to be one woman in his emotion. His mother, his sister, his wife, his um, daughter, is that okay? His mother, his sister, his wife, his daughter. How many is that? Four. And then the fifth one, the strange woman. Let me go over it again. Write it down so you understand that. His mother, his sister, his wife, his daughter. And then the strange woman. There will always be that strange woman. If you don't close the door to the strange woman, she will walk in. Amen. That strange woman could be a typist in the office, can be some, somebody, whatever, and things like that. You know, there are, there are marriages that are broken because the wife doesn't understand why is this man giving a lift to this lady around our area? Why? Don't you know that girl is a seducer? But you know that girl, you know, don't you see how she's, the rain is beating her, and I just feel like giving her a lift. She's about a No, 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 I don't want that, you know. A woman, now listen to this. If you haven't found out, you'll find out. A woman does not have emotional issues with another woman. Whenever you find women that are having emotional issues for each other, is the devil. A man does not have emotional issues with another man. Whenever you have a man having emotional issues with another man, that's the devil. God's plan is that a man will have emotional issues with a woman. Whether it's the right woman or not, that is not the first thing I'm dealing with. Are you following what I'm saying? Praise God. I can help a man that is having an affair with a man, a woman that is not married to, but it's a big problem when he's having an affair with a man. I'm going to cast out the devil from that man. A man that is having an affair with a woman, I'll minister, deliver, I'll minister counseling to him, and you understand what I'm saying? But when he's having an affair with a man, he needs deliverance. When a woman is having an affair with a woman, she needs deliverance. So if, if anything tells you, I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel attracted to a female. Something is wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? That is why you find out 
that a man has a soft spot for the daughter. And if care is not taken, a daughter can grow up to become a major rival to the mother. Rivaling for the attention and the emotions of the husband. Are you for, there are homes that that is a serious problem. That the daughter and the mother, they are not seen eye to eye. And they can't, the mother can't say what is really causing the problem. Do you get what I'm saying? Every mother here will understand what I'm talking about. That um, you, you suddenly discover that your husband seemed to have a softer spot for the daughter. He is tougher on the son. Are you following what I'm saying? Just like you have a softer spot for your son. And you're always making crazy demands on your daughter. Now, I'm just clearing the ground for the building. I've not started my message, but I want to just understand that God there is an emotional issue. Do you get that? He brought the woman out from the ribs of the man. So there's that emotional issue. And there's the fifth woman. Do you get that? You must be careful that that fifth woman is not the wrong woman. But you must keep the fifth woman out. There is going to be a legitimate need for the husband to take care of his mother. Are you following what I'm saying? Many fathers today have gotten in trouble beating the wife in the front of the son. That boy may not be able to touch you now, but he's holding something inside you. Because that young man, as young as he is, has an emotional issue with that woman. Is his mother. And that's why you have seen some vehicles on the road. A big man buys a human jeep, Islander Lexus, and put under the number plate, Omo Yaolobi. You have never seen Omo Babalaro, Omo Yaolobi. You have seen, you have seen muscular, macho sports athletes on television. They are interviewing. I say, hey, hi, mom. Hi, mom. He doesn't say, hey, dad. Just say, hi, mom. Things like that. Are you following what I'm saying? He's, he has a protective feeling towards the female. When there is no protective feeling in a man towards the right woman, a demon is taking a space in your life. The way that is how God created a man, it is not wrong. Every wife must understand and wisely help your husband to service and administer that emotion towards his mother that it doesn't replace you. But to cut it off, you are looking for trouble. Are you following what I'm saying? Praise God. To say no, 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 no. You are looking for big, bad trouble. He has a feeling for his sister. Because she's a woman that they actually met before meeting you. So that feels there. Amen? But that place does not belong to the mother, nor to the sister. They were surrogates until you came. Did you get what I'm saying? That space that is in his heart belonged to his wife. But this was the...